today's project is putting a hitch on our minivan. We like the minivan, it's comfortable, and with diesel prices so high, a lot of times we've been using this just to run and pick up odds and ends. Uh, the other day I picked up a Jeep top and it just barely fit in, and it would be nice to be able to pull a trailer. The second reason I'd like to do a hitch on this is because my old plow truck, uh, I run off-road diesel in it because all it is is a plow truck right around here in my house and we put the fuel jugs in the back. I'm always real nervous if I spill a little bit of fuel in this thing, it's going to stink forever. So we ordered a hitch off Amazon. Let's get this in the shop. We'll take a look at it, see how easy it is to install. So this is how the hitch comes packaged. You can just see a couple shipping labels, UPS dropped it off. All right, check that out. It's all shiny on the inside. So it looks like our hardware. Hmm. Not really hardware, just some instructions. <laughs> I thought maybe there'd be a bolt or two in there. So it seems like the instructions are fairly complete. You can see right up here, one, two, three bolts. Uh, in the comment section up there, there's another one, two, three. Somebody suggested dropping the exhaust, the back two brackets, just to kind of let the exhaust hang to be able to get to those other ones. So we're gonna give that a try. I took the tire off to get into this bracket, number one, so you could see a little bit easier, but it also made it easier for me, but because I'm also doing the tire rotation on this van today. So had to take the tires off anyway, so it just made sense. I did spray just a little bit of lube on these. And there we go, the back one's off. If you have not got a set of these for popping these rubber mounts off, I would suggest getting one. They do make it a lot easier than trying to get in there with a screwdriver or anything else. And I do always like to just put a little bit of lube on them when I do them, just to make it come off a little bit easier. And I'll put a little bit of something back on it so it slides on easy. Uh, Lyle makes this set. I put a link in the description. So this side, I'm just using the old ratchet, sprayed these. These are breaking free pretty easy. Uh, 15 in the front, seven, uh, excuse me, 18 in the back. Okay, well, let me show you how we're doing so far. So far, we've broken off both these smaller diameter bolts and both of them broke off. There is the one on the uh, passenger side. These are the ones all the way to the rear. Here's the one on the driver's side. Uh, I have been taking them in and out a little at a time, a little at a time. These actually both broke off while I was trying to put them back in because um, I could only get them to come out maybe a turn and a half. So I was spraying them, running them in, out, in, out. So we'll see how hard these are gonna be to extract. So far, the ones that take the 18 millimeter socket have not broke off, but they also are stuck as well. So I'm assuming this whole channel, everything inside of it is rusty. Because I have the broken bolts on both sides, I went ahead and dropped the third rubber mount, which really lets the exhaust hang down. Already got a pilot hole drilled in this one. And now I think I can get up into that one and get a pilot hole drilled in that.
Okay, we have an 11 16 hole drilled all the way through. Now, both of these rear bolts. Sorry about that focus. Uh, I think it's time for a pizza break. Okay, so we got a bolt in. What I did is I ended up just taking a 5 16 drill bit, drilling it out, tapping it to a 3 8 uh, national course 16 pitch thread, and just redid it. So I'm gonna do it on the other side, and then we'll just get these bolts back out, um, all the bolts back out, and put this thing on. So uh, if you have trouble with it, that seems like the size that would fit. You might be able to go one size bigger. Okay. I have got everything ready to go. All the bolts are right here where I can grab them. Impact is right there. I'm not gonna torque them down, just spin them tight. And my lovely assistant that's gonna help me put it up. So it actually tucks up in pretty cleanly. It's pretty tight to the exhaust, but not to where the exhaust will rub on it. It does actually touch the plastic here, which uh, I don't know if that's any big deal. You can kind of see it just slightly pushes it up. All the bolts are back to tight. Make sure you double check torque specs on those and get them all in. But there it is. I'll show you what it looks like once it's on the ground. Okay, so from here, it tucks up under pretty nice. You can just barely see it. Next thing I'll do is put the little wiring harness in for the lights, and this install will be done. See you next time.